Okay. Good uh, evening to everybody. I hope you are doing good. And uh, Easter is treating everybody good out there. So, the progressive talks. When I started talking about this subject, it was actually based on the fact that uh, the, uh, there's a Zimbabwean lawyer who apparently took the South African government uh, to courts over the ZTP uh, non-renewal, of which my stance is, why does anyone deserve permanent residence? Uh, uh, why do you deserve to be here? You know, why are you here? So I don't want people to think that whenever I release a video, I am talking about something different. No. Since that first video, I structured this as a progressive talk, which has to highlight the issues that Zimbabweans are facing in South Africa, the issues they're facing in Zimbabwe, in a sense that Zimbabwe has to see these issues. Because if they are not spoken about, then they will just say, ah, but we are sorting out everything. I came from the ghetto. So people from the hood are in my deep heart, utmost. That's why I'm even speaking. Because if we don't speak, who speaks for people from the ghetto? I came from Remuka Kadoma. Search it. It's one of the ghettos. And right now, I own an ISP. I've done a few things. And I've traveled the world. Because my mind, I told it, no. They told me I was poor, but I'm not poor. I am not what they say. You know, African politics. Ah, the mental slavery. So a lot of people don't understand, like... I am on the side of the poor people on both sides. So Zimbabweans, uh, migrants, undocumented, illegals, uh, low-skilled, you can't be flocking into South Africa and expect that to make sense. And as I said in the other video, I have nieces, I have nephews who are South African. Soon they will need a job. They will not be able to compete with the young people coming from Zimbabwe or from any other African country or from uh, any European or Western uh, countries because just uh, they may be favored based on uh, maybe how they're speaking and this and this and this. So not everything is directly based on low wages. But yes, there are people who are paid, as we said, less than uh, what is perhaps the, the standard. Let's go to Zimbabweans. Illegals, undocumented people, low skilled people. I mean, it's a terrible situation, but you can't expect to stay in South Africa if you are illegal. Come on, man. You can't expect to stay in South Africa if you are low skilled and your skills are just of that of an ordinary person, and you may need to take the job or you may need to apply for the job that they are also applying for, it's going to be a problem. So rather have these law skills function in your countries so that you can at least keep up without uh, someone uh, on your case. Don't encourage people to come here, you know. Uh, Zimbabweans, be it other Africans, they don't encourage your nephews, your cousins, your sister, sister, your this, your that, your that. Don't encourage people to come here. You know, when I came here 20 years ago, this country had a few foreigners, of which, I mean, it's true. We have got a lot of people who just recently migrated and been migrating, of which some of these people have been breaking rules. Yes, you know, Zimbabweans, we're not perfect. So, yes, there are Zimbabweans out there who are doing crime. There are Zimbabweans out there. Uh, who are involved in all sorts of uh, criminal activities like any other person. But you Zimbabweans, you're far away from home to be found doing all this nonsense. You know, I heard there was a boy they caught there, if it's a man, doing all this fake documentation, passports, IDs, uh, COVID, this. <laughs> Come on, man. You're destroying yourself. You're destroying our legacy. You're destroying your future. You have already destroyed it. But you're putting Zimbabwe's name uh, in this mix. That's bad, man. So people like that have to be arrested. Uh, back to Zim and also they need to go to jail there. You know, you must humble yourselves.
I know a lot of Zimbabweans with pride out there. So people won't be crazy to come and say, ah, you know what? They talk down on us. I know Zimbabweans, you know, when, when we have to talk even amongst ourselves, you know, it's all about. But you see, when you're speaking to other people, have some respect. You should humble yourself. Just know who you're talking to. Are they in an understanding with you as you're speaking? Uh, if maybe you think you are more qualified than someone, how about you try to help them come on the level you own? So you see, me as someone who's uh, moving with the Rasta culture, you know, we believe everyone is the same as the Muslim, uh, as the Islam foundation, you know, everyone is the same. So there's no differences to, to you or to me. We must just have respect for one another. So a lot of Zimbabweans, I mean, educated or even non-educated, yeah, there is ego. But you see, ego, you do that back at home and you quarrel there. But we are, if you're in foreign lands and you bring ego, it's going to have problems. You know, drinking of alcohol, too much alcohol, parties and comfort. You know, most of you are so comfortable in Mzanzi. Throwing parties every weekend, competing with the South Africans. That's not cool. Your country is going through so many problems. Your people are going through so many problems. Look at what that boy Java did, you know. Went into the street, started handing out money. What is that? You know, you're teasing the poor. You're making the poor people, you know, thirst for something that is so uh, dangerous and not even easy to get, you know. So what is that exactly? You're damaging your own people, Java. Stop that. That's not how you build the people, you know. Talk to the people. Understand them. Don't, don't, don't make everything about social media, you know. That's an issue. So Java, the parties, the alcohol consumption in Mzanz is crazy. The comfort, the comfortability in a lot of Zimbabweans is crazy. And you are all on social media promoting all this funny nonsense from Zimbabweans, be it they in the UK, they in Europe, and you're suffering in South Africa. So the backlash that you get for your nonsense will be actually just also sometimes you're making. So you have to understand Zimbabweans. As educated as you say you are, as we say we are, it's better to use common sense. Mm. Alcohol, limit that or stop that. Parties, mm -mm. unless you're partying with, you know, in a way that makes sense. Don't, don't go all out. Like these people we hear, they're buying, they're in the clubs all night, they're buying the whole club and they're... Throwing alcohol on their watches. What is that, man? No Zimbabweans should be even participating in nonsense like that. Thoughts is. People are stealing out here. Mm. That's not cool. We spoke about this in that Shona clip. We touched deeper in this. The Totsi attitude is not good. Totsi attitude is how you talk to people. How you try to do deals. Uh, how you try to get money into your pockets, you know. Everything has to be correct, you know. Don't cheat your way to the top. Don't fake the uh, the papers. Don't cheat the system. That's not going to work. Don't test each other's patience here. If you know you're low skilled, you're living in the ghetto and you're quarreling and traveling with people, go home, go home. You don't qualify. You're not ready for the next battle. You are undocumented and you know that you may not be documented. Go home. Mm. Go home. You are illegal. I don't even know what you're doing being illegal here. But you need to get arrested and they need to send you into jail. Send you back home again into jail. Stop telling people to come to South Africa here for no reason. South Africa is not Zimbabwe. If we are in Zimbabwe, then we tell people, come here. Because we are in our home. But we were also given shelter. Then we tell everything, our cats, our dogs. Let's go there. That's not how it works. Figure it out in Zimbabwe. Figure it out there. Figure it out. Document yourself correctly. Travel the world. You can't come into people's countries crippling, 
or wanting to cripple the system or wanting to beg in the system. Nah, beg in Zimbabwe. Mm. 2023, that's next year. People vote. People will vote. And I urge and I plead with the Zimbabwean government, please, just ensure this is all fair and correct and whatnot, so that this election should actually bring correctness for the people. Politics is dead, actually. That's according to me, and just according to how I've seen things just eroding. The poor are not taken care of, the so-called poor. If you go right now to where I was born in Kadoma, people are even worse than what they were supposed to be. So I'm working hard so that one day I can go and put a network there so that I can help our people. So the poor people are only helped by the poor people. They're either fighting themselves or they're helping one another. But politics does not save the poor. Politics is for the rich people. So let's try to get this politics, this election, triple C's, and PF, whoever. Make this 2023 election for the people. Because otherwise politics is dead. If politics is dead, there has to be a new start. A new start comes with a revolution. I don't think you're ready for a revolution. You can't test people that far. They will bring it. They will bring it. And would you rather live as a slave? Or would you rather just see it all just go to chaos? So don't test people's patience, Zimbabwean government. Because one thing that you have to be ready for is to receive majority of the ZTP people back to Zimbabwe. Majority of the undocumented back to Zimbabwe. You have to learn to stabilize the people now in Zimbabwe without majority of them flocking into South Africa. You have to learn to handle things in Zimbabwe now. On a government level, we do not expect the president to keep quiet when important things are happening out here. We do not expect uh, Mr. President Munangagwa to keep quiet when Zimbabweans are being brutalized out here. We do not expect Munangagwa to send Zimbabweans out here or to even not speak when Zimbabweans are being spoken about. He must be the first one to come and speak about that issue, not people like myself or even anyone who's speaking about these issues. These issues should be addressed on a presidential level. But again, if politics is dead, what should we expect? So, Mr. President, I have utmost respect for you. I do. I do. And then you have begun. Then I respect him that 100%. If you ask him that, I don't go to an hour. But I don't know that I'm going to go to an hour. Kanawa <laughs> Munotipere ma resources ma platforms mdara. Toya ito vaka nika mdara. Toya isa internet correctly mdara. Because timu ndi nalo. Vanuwenyu mdara. Saka choko wadi ndi jewo di mdara. Taura one wana venyu mdara. Kanari chamisa. Taura one wana venyu so. Because mkangu taura mungu taura mungu taura yukukuka. Daya spora yaka wandi sa wana 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 so I'm going to tell Raneko go go team with a two mil wow go 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 Janet. So I'm going to tell Ranai to tell Rana one one who no go to one is an old one. I'm going to say I'm going to agenda ni papi but to go Zimbabwe. So she no tangera papi. Eh to do to identify a van who go to one enter is in the vapi one enter is in the vapi one enter is in the vapi. Eh I'm sure it is ready right now. Up in the mu mu a phone call conversation whereby some of us we will speak. Eh, tu na uti zoni awa neta izo, awa neta izo, awa neta izo. Eh, tika zoka so ndara, I'm not fan dele mdara. Eh, pasi na politics si so ndara. Tiki dongo wa kiro wanu, because nintu loti internetu ye kwe se mdara, ndo jita. Ta hapa ma levels ajo wale. 
Chamisa, zvino itikereshe. Chamisa, nangagwa zvino itikereshe zvindara. Madara tinozgadzirisa iri. Ndonye yatufana ngotaura chita. We were sadak. Sadak actually completely lost us. I don't even know what sadak stands for at this hour. Zimbabweans you're on your own. Human rights, what human rights? They start to get violated in Zim, so we gotta go fix that. So that's why I say if 2023 comes, the politics dies, new start is revolution. The sanctions. Yeah. We can talk about the sanctions once we put each other together. Madara matrajit zao di direction in Uro, I shenan kupi. But one thing that's guaranteed in Dara is you must be ready to receive majority of the ZE people back in Zimbabwe. You must be ready to receive majority of the people who be arrested because they are said they, they are undocumented, illegal, this and this and this. So you have a portion of a lot of problems in Dara. And this type of problems in Dara ga murmega so ne team in Zimbabwe and fungo because team diaspora in em fungiro wayo. Vanu venu, chaka wewe yangu kusudi tizi tizi, e vanu tiziza, vaku na kuchizoka, vanu tangu kwa papi. Dara lip connect Africa tiri mepo msaga, amunongo tnyore era tuno chaga na tiri wana nengo. Ine na I'm not really interested in about me. It's not real about me. Longo tima conversations aya garo wa tuwa ni sasa sego vanu kuzi vanu wa no tiji. That's was very important in Dara. But we never know about 200,000. We never know about 200,000. We never know about 200,000. We never know about ANC delegation went to Zimbabwe. They said everything was fine. And that was the time actually to to change Zimbabwe. And uh, now here we are. So what I was technically saying in Shona there is, speaking to our president, a lot of people say, no, I, I, I fear Mr. Mnangagwa. I don't speak to him. I don't address him. You know, we're just busy addressing South Africa. So I had to address him. Mm. But address him in a way that is... Uh, a reasonable, ethical, to just say these kids are coming back home, whether you like it or not. What you gonna do about it? Mm. The diasporans are a different type of breed. When they come into Zimbabwe, they need to be understand. Uh, they need to be understood by a structure of diasporans who have been living with them. The type of developments they need to be allowed to develop, uh, so they need help. Mm. The contacts. Lip Connect Africa, we are up here. Do contact us so that we can just give people the message out there. There's a few people talking out there, and these are not just people or uh, entities. These are people actually who can change people's lives, but I can't do it alone. I have resources that can only take care of Liberty Buonali, and a few other people I can take care of. In the business structure, but I can't right now take care of the whole Zimbabwe. I can't take care of the whole ZTP. But with your help, with a lot of people's help, we can set a structure that can actually help a lot of people. Because just if I come and set internet structures, for example, in Zimbabwe, we can create a lot of employment there. This don't have to be political. Business infrastructures so that the students, the people uh, at the taxi ranks, people in the uh, flats, houses, students, whoever the citizen is, they have internet access. With that internet access being available everywhere in Zimbabwe, Zimbabweans will be able to move forward. Farming, give them at least land or budget, some sort of direction. Mm. Majority of people with no skills, Empower people like us, people like myself, so that we can create bigger businesses, so that we can employ a majority of these people. Because if I build networks in different 
places. I'm not looking to employ to come with a team. I'm looking to teach a team, then leave them knowing how to better their skills there. So then we, 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 are, we are looking at actually creating major employment just like that as we go. So in Kadoma, they will have their own people. Chegutu, their own people. Kariba, their own people. Mount Darwin, their own people. Gokwe, their own people. Stellenbosch, they've got their own people. French Hook, Gordon's Bay. As we build Africa, just like that. Moral of the story is, if you have never listened to any of my videos, and this is the first one you're doing so, please check from the beginning when I started this topic. Because I don't want people to uh, comment unnecessarily or to think I'll be that ignorant for them to think I'm not that wise to understand what the issue is here. Low skilled people in South Africa, they deserve their low skilled jobs and to be paid that, whatever it is. Foreigners, migrants, they don't need to come and interfere with that. So if you're a migrant coming to South Africa or wanting to stay in South Africa, then your skills is to be extraordinary. Mm. On that note, Mr. President Mnangagwa, be ready to receive a bunch of these kids. Uh, because I don't know what Sadak actually can ever do for Zimbabwe. Uh, if you don't, if the politics in 2023 don't work, then politics is officially dead in Zimbabwe. So if it's dead, then there will be a new start. And this new start will come with a revolution. So I don't think you want revolution. Let's talk about these things. Talk to your people. Reason with your kids. These are your kids. Bring them back home. Bring us all back home. Make us special as we should be. Uh, love us as we deserve to. Mm, you bet us. Created all these kids. And the bands in the rack. So if they're crazy, they're yours still. So we can't expect them uh, to be all sheltered by someone else. We give thanks. <laughs>